I think that most beginning amateurs need to spend most of their focus trying to keep their body pretty still and really learn how to get the coordination and kind of educate your hands to square up the club face. As you develop your skills, you can really use your body motion to add a lot of power and stabilize your swing. Let me show you the different moving parts. Once I've taken my address position and my weight is more or less underneath me, I'm going to try to get my upper body to start moving, but I'm going to really focus on holding my hips, my legs still. So I'm resisting against that movement. So the beginning part is my upper body and it's almost my upper body that really winds up my hips towards the end of my backswing. Don't get mistaken into thinking that lots of movement is going to give you extra power. If you turn your hips early, all that's going to happen is you're just going to have a big powerless motion. Learn how to resist with your lower body to really coil your back to the target. And now as you're starting down, you need to be able to work your lower body open and try to hold your back as long as you can to the target. So from here, I'm moving my hips. That transfers me to my left. And now from here, I use a very fast rotation with my right side to square up the club face. It's pretty advanced stuff. It takes a lot of coordination, but I'm telling you, all you have to do is get it right once and it's worth all of the pain and suffering that you need to have on the range.